absolute R.I.P. Sure. I knew it. Yeah. Vintage tonal range, etc. It's going to be an exciting video, kids. What's up? What's up? Everybody. Hey, kids, what are you doing down there? Hmm? Come on. Where are you going? Come on. You gotta come this way. Come on. Bowie. It's too dirty down there. He's just laying down there in his pocket. What's up, y'all? See, that, um, we do the glitter first, then we do the coat of resin, then we paint it, then we do another coat of resin. But yeah, they all they all have the resin on them. But if you wanted the stones, you can't put resin over stones. Sorry, trying to sell some coasters. Yeah, this black and white makes me look bad. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What's happening, y'all? Betty, long time no see. What's up? Rowdy, TG, Evelyn. Tops. TG in the mix. It's true. Did you spray those flowers? No. Where am I supposed to spray them with? You did them too over here so you could spray them on them. I didn't know. You didn't tell me that. I don't know about any of that. Well, you didn't hear me. It doesn't mean I didn't say it. Well, thank you, Kim. Have an awesome day. What's up, boss? Hello, everybody. How was everybody's day? This fine Tuesday. Tuesday. All right, no yawning. So is that what you have to do is put clear on them? It just I helps. Put to those in that window so it's it. dry. I know, I see you, but there's stuff up here. We're gonna be doing some resin stuff. So, um, yeah, we're going to use some Total Boat Casting um, resin. Um, we're going to see if we can make a little encasing, throw some resin in there, um, and see if we can cast it and see how it, how it turns out. Where's my um, logo at? Oh, there it is. So, yeah, um, we're going to get to that. And three, two, mark it. going to be in here. Oh, there they are. Hey, Total Boat. Thanks for stopping in and seeing what we're up to. We're going to be reviewing the Total Boat Thick Set. Sorry that it's like a little blown out in that one. This is the piece from the Maker Poxy. Cells turned out nice. I will say there are some dimples. You can see just in this area. Mm 
And that could be from a few things. I did add a lot of heat to this piece. Um, a lot of times when I see dimples like this, it's from using heat late in the setting process, but I don't think that was the issue. And it could be from adding too much heat and it getting a little bit thin in these areas. So we're gonna revisit that, but in all, dig in this epoxy. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the casting epoxy. And to do that, Jeff's gonna make a mold. This stuff looks warped. Yeah, but when you hot glue it, it should be fine, yeah? I don't know, we'll see. I just don't know, I don't know how big to make this mold. So we're gonna cast a rosebud that we've been drying out since a couple months. Yeah, it's been a couple months. You can use like silica gel beads. You can get that on Amazon or you can just collect all the little packets that say don't eat it when you order basically anything. That's silica gel beads. So we'll just make a little base and we'll cut four walls. How, how big are the walls? How big? Should, how tall should the walls be? Well, this says that you can pour it up to one inch thick to prevent yellowing or excessive heat from the cure. So we need to keep it at like a one inch Well, I need to make the walls just a little bit bigger so that... Right. Judy! Denise, we love your dimples. So we are going to use the Total Boat Thick Set Clear Casting Epoxy. This is a 3 to 1. Let me be quite honest. I have never mathed a 3 to 1, but we're going to do it. Yeah. So, how do you do three to one? <laughs> We're going to do... Okay. So, if you're like us and not... Cujo. Sorry, our pups are in the windows barking at apparent intruders from across the street. Um, let me just move this hot glue because it's leaking on here. That. Um, so you can just use three different cups, I guess four different cups, and do equal parts in all of them, or you can use a graduated cup like this one that has the measurements on the side of it. I'm still not mathy enough to do that. So what we're gonna do. How <laughs> did I make this? Did you guys just not see me measure this? See, that's why we can't do three to one. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna try to make six ounces of resin. So we're gonna do I one, two, three. Should never to be one trusted part. with a ruler. Or math. Never, ever trust me with math, y'all. You should know that. That's awesome, Evelyn. That would be all. Jeez, come on. Like, I am so bad at math. And measuring stuff, like I'm a horrible, horrible carpenter. But B, you build these amazing squares. You didn't build them, so that's all that matters. I don't know what that means. I'm saying that they're amazing. Yeah. You're technically you're the only one that says anything bad about these things. Um, I'm pretty sure. What's his name? Um, 
Bert laughed at him. Well, Bert measures for a living. If you ended in an airbrush, you may have a little bit of trouble. All right. Whoops, sorry about that, y'all. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut four little, where's the rose at? I need the rose. Y'all, check out my little uh, Charizard LV. <laughs> and I changed it up. I made some dots, some not dots, some circles, some not circles. So I changed the logo up. So don't give me crap about my one of a kind um, Louis. This is not going to work. I don't have a small one. So, what, um... You guys, she tests me sometimes. Well... Yeah, I asked you something? how how tall it was, and then you told me you said it can't be over an inch, so I made it a half inch. Those things are like almost a half inch. Okay, I thought we were doing an inch. Babe, okay, these things are like we we have to have it to where it can stand up. I'm gonna put a little glue on there. So. Hi, Petra. We're getting it together. I know this is going to be off again. You guys, wh why do you do this to me? Why do you make me want to look like a fool? I literally just measured this. One and a half. Oh it doesn't have to be exactly even, does it? Well, yeah. So that we can tell. I mean, I'm just asking. I don't know. I did, Petra. I did receive those. One second. Let's do this. Let's. All right. I'm going to dip some of this glue. Y'all, be careful when you're using hot glue gun, especially from Roby. Is that how to say it? Roby. a whole review on those. Can I request like a blobby shaped one? Or do you do those? Do you have those? Alright. Where's the air? Do you have a duster over here? I don't have any. It's so funny. You would think that it would just Right. 
Look at there, you got a cute little stand up rose. Beauty and the Beast would be proud. All right, so we're just gonna make this little guy, little gal guy. Possibly, Petra. I'll have to go back and look. We'll just make them each uh, three inches. Jessica says, Jeff's having the same issues I have with measuring with rulers. I can never keep my rulers straight to save my life. I'm left-handed, too, so everything is different for me. That's not fun. Also, I think lefties have a special talent. Um, what's up, Austin Thornton? What's up, Austina? Austin, how are you at measuring things? <laughs> Luckily, this part doesn't have to be like Piper's back, right? Did you? Well, it kind of does you, only because. these things need to be the same just so that you can uh everything should be equal all the time it's just <laughs> I'm terrible at measuring I'm terrible at math like it's to the point of frustration and embarrassment, basically. And that's why I don't like to make things. Like out of wood. I love to make stuff out of wood. I just I'm not a good carpenter. For some reason, stuff just gets all Willy Wonka on me. Hopefully these are straight. <gasps> Look at that. Did All you right. do it right? So, I what I want to do, which I probably should make the first one a little bit long. What is it, the longer? Or the shorter? Take these and you just build your wall. Do you guys hear that when he yells to be? He's like, whammo. In the camera. Erica, when do you think you can do the fantasy peacock walk? I don't mind doing that tomorrow for you guys. Toot toot. What's up, Tutor? This is exciting. Are you being facetious, Pamela? Austin says, I am bad at anything. Do you mean everything? I don't think you're bad at everything. I just want to make sure uh, of what we're talking about. So he's using foam core poster board. It's a lot like what kids use to do their like dioramas or What's it called? Yeah. 
presentations. In high school. And we use this because the resin doesn't like to stick to the shiny parts of this foam board, which don't look that shiny as I'm looking at it right now. I'm surprised it's not shinier. Kind of like how it doesn't like to stick to melamine, 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 you know, you know what I mean. You may have to turn your head around. <clears throat> so I did spray a gloss clear spray on the flower just to um, just further seal it in. You can probably use hairspray. I've heard a lot of people use that. Flowers and resin are beautiful. They're just, they can get tricky because if you don't dry them out fully, you could end up with mold. where the um, moisture from the flower that's not dried out gets trapped. What is it? What? What gets trapped? Mold. Mold? From what? The water. <laughs> the water? <laughs> Bowie, you are not the king, okay? Did you see that Alaskan king I sent you? Probably did. You probably don't. I watched the gorgeous TV. guy. Oh, the, uh, oh, hold on. Gorgeous. Yeah. I didn't send you anything on him though. Yes, you did. Did you put any hot glue on the bottom of that? Yeah. We do still have to watch that tutor. It also doesn't hurt to like run a little bit more hot glue. Because let me tell you, from experience, let me look at you guys. Let me tell you. Listen to my face. If you're doing a casting of something and your prep is not 100% and you have the tea tiniest little baby leak, you're gonna have problems. There's no way to stop it once the dam's broke. There's no, you, it's. You can ask Mike. And Mitch at Stone Coat because we did that to a. We to a use piece. six gallons to fill. Um, what's it called? Of like a burl slice. I made it look like a geode, and then we we did all this stuff to it. Tea tiny little baby leaf. Tried to fix it, tried to put a dam around it, tried it. We tried all the things. Nothing was working. We had to dump every bit of it out. We had to scoop it out. We had to scoop it, we had to dump it, and then we had to wipe it all down completely, dry it, and start over. Just pay attention to your prep. Thank you, Pamela. That 
That was an exciting day. Also, if you're using plastic sheeting or like 3M plastic and you think you're going to hot glue in and around, this is unrelated, also very related. Make sure that you do not hot glue onto the plastic because it's going to melt it. Hashtag, it wasn't me. So we are reviewing Total Boat Thick Set Clear Cast Epoxy. This is not a sponsored video. We're not getting paid to do this. They did send this kit to us for free to show you guys what it's about. So we didn't pay for the kit, but they're also not paying for the review. So as usual, we're going to be doing a fair, unbiased, honest review for you guys. Mover. I think that's good. Yeah. I really, look at that. Like it's really. Been there? in there no holes no part okay I'm gonna give him just a little medicine real quick Thank you, Pamela. I've been wanting to cast a a, a, a rose for a while. Handled the tape. <laughs> I did. I, I did my best. I did my best. I don't know why this is turned like this. Sorry about that, y'all. What I could have done, but it's, it's basically the same thing. Is I could have put that rose on here, made this, and then just put this over the top of it and dangled it into the resin. But it's basically the same thing. But the only thing is, this is going to be like, like you, um, total boat. If you're in here. Um, w will it be all right if we don't have a a uh, a pot a pressure pot to what is this? this will, it'll be about two inches, a little over two inches. It's a step pouring with multiple. It's about layers. two inches by two inches by two inches. When casting total boat in a smaller mold, the epoxy can be poured in layers one to two inches deep using the same method. Oh. Tack free time is one, one, a half inch to one inch, four hours, 48 hours. Sandable drawer. So that's actually really fast setting for a casting epoxy. Cujo, enough. I want to wait. That's fine. I gotta mix this up anyways. One to two inches at a time. All right, cool. So, and what I thought about doing is we can mix it, pour a little bit, maybe hit it with the heat, and then pour a little bit, hit it with the heat, and maybe that'll get the bubbles out. You think? 
Hey, this is super thin, like... Yeah, that's like super thin. Oh yeah, we need to spray the... What do you call it on this? Mold release. Do we need to put mold release on this total boat? Jesus, eight. Tutor. Why don't we just make him a mod? Here, Tutor, we'll, we'll make you a mod. You can't. Oh. There. Now you. Now you. You'll have a little. Uh, little wrench. Yes, for Spray mold release. release. All right. Let me find my mold release. We'll be back in just a second. In the meantime, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of info from what. I'm gonna give you a little bit of info from this. Bowie and Cujo, y'all chill out. So, this says, um, Total Boat Thick Set is an easy to use, horrible two-part crystal clear epoxy resin system that produces 3D effects for thick casting, molding, encapsulating applications. It has a low viscosity, reduced exotherm, an extremely long working time for minimized trap bubbles and reduced heat, allowing you to pour single resin layers, one inch thick, two inches when casting in small molds. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, total boat thick set can be tinted with epoxy coloring agents and cured epoxy is non-yellowing. Versatile, no uh, low odor, low VOC epoxy is ideal for a variety of act creative projects Sculptures, wall art, etc. Not designed for UV exposure, continuous UV exposure. Do not place items higher than 125 Fahrenheit on cured surface. Okay. Universal mold release. Will this work? Total boat. So. Um, mixing. Do not mix more than one gallon at a time. Mix three parts A with one part B by volume. And then gives a... measurement see this is dripping all over your this guy it should peel off um, low viscosity use sheathing tape Tyvek tape or release agent on the inside of the mold to prevent epoxy from adhering to the mold when making larger pores, ensure that the structure that epoxy is poured into is well supported to prevent sagging from the weight of the epoxy. Yes, it will. So, a lot or just? Um, just read it and see what it says. Okay, thoroughly mix both components in a mixing pail for two, three minutes, scraping bottom sides of the stick. Then pour into a second pail and mix for another two to three minutes. Probably only going to use one pail. Okay. And just, I'm praying that I don't measure this wrong. You guys, yell at me if I'm measuring this wrong. You can always tell if it's a firm seal by if you press it in and then squeeze it and it pops up. Wetty nice, wetty, wetty nice. All right, so this is part A. Okay. I'm scared. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm gonna do one, do, do, these three squares with 
part A. We're gonna pour it up to four. And then I'm gonna do the four right here. I'm gonna do three squares with A and then one square with B. And no, then you pour it to one, then there's two, then there's three. Then you're gonna pour the rest to four. Okay. Right? You just said the exact backwards well, thing that I did. I thought you said you were gonna pour it to to, to here. In total. Which is what you just said, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I think. Right? Yeah. No. Okay. I'm going to do it. Any issues with the rose being coated with mold release? No. Just sprayed it. It's fine. He was wondering if the this is gonna pull away from the rose since there's more rose on it. I think since it's encapsulated, yeah, no, you're not gonna have that issue. Problem. I think that's just for that paper stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm going, I'm going in. Right, three parts. I'm going to fill the four box no. with the left. One, two, three. You fill it up to this line, right? No. Well, why would, why would, yeah, you pour it up to there, so that's one. Then that's two, then that's three. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, what? I don't know. That doesn't start at the bottom. Well, I don't know. Okay, so now you try to pour a little bit out, I guess. Mm -hmm. Y'all, just so you know what I just did. Nope. I'm going to show you over here. Yeah. So I filled it up to this line. So that's the one line, the two line, and the three line. And I filled it, I think, a line too much. So no one in here is speaking on um, the three to one miss. I don't understand why why that But you should just ask total boat. I on did there, on on their on this thing. You pour it to that Use the cup what? that says three one one side. I know but then how do you there's so there, it looks like there's three, three parts. How would that even work? All right, total boat. Help me math. If I have it filled to the three on here with part A, do I fill it to just this three for part B? And what is this last column for? Yeah, that's Give me confusing. a lesson on this. The, and they're like that too. The other the other cups are like that too, which I don't understand. That's why I'm glad we don't deal with this type of um, measurements. I'm, we're terrible. I'm terrible at it. I promise you guys we're better artists than um, mathematicians. Shelly says, once you've been using one-to-one -one and messes with your head when you have to do two-to-one or three-to-one. Girl, fill it to the second three. You can ignore the third column. That's for three-part finishes. Fill it to the three with part A, then fill it to the next three with part B in the second column. That's science I can get behind. Okay, so we did. We filled it to this three right here in the three-one-one column. So we filled it to here. And now I'm going to take it to this middle three. Let's all learn together, shall we? It's just a class project. Okay. Y'all, that's stressful. Okay. 
I'm sorry, Total, but I swear I'm more aware when it's not math. Words are hard. Also, I'm glad that you liked our ocean piece. Because I think it legitimizes me as an artist while I'm fumbling and bumbling through this one. I feel like I'm pouring literally water into this. Can you guys see how liquidy that is? I feel like if I do that too much, it's going to splash onto you guys. You got this. Thank you. Look how liquidy. I didn't even think like how much we need to pour in there. I can always make some more smash. What do you think, Pujo? No big deal. You do the test because we don't want to. So we're here for... Okay. There is a bit of an ammonia smell. Don't smell us at home. Be in a well-ventilated area. Wear a respirator if you think you need to. Um, listen to your body, you know? All right, it's 2.42, and I'm mixing up it. Okay. I just gave Pooja a little bit extra CBD. He should be calmed down soon. Um, this is super fluid, and I'm I'm a pretty vigorous mixer, and I'm telling you, there's like four bubbles in there. Well, okay, there's a few, but compared to other resins I've worked with, at this point there'd be a lot of bubbles. What if we started pouring it and hit it with like just a little bit of heat while it's like pouring out into here? You know what I mean? Like push it. Yeah. Well, what we'll do is just put it at an angle and just pour it slowly in. Mm hmm Um, also, I got a shipment in of just resin pigments. I mix I'm missing a whole case. But oh, wow. How long do you have to stir that? You and Clara just asked the same question. How long do you need to mix it? Um, it says two to three minutes and then transfer into another cup and mix for another two to three minutes. But I'm gonna cheat and just mix it into mix it in this cup. The reason why they tell you to mix it in two cups is to ensure you have a full complete mixture and that everything is well incorporated. Because you guys, if you've never had this happen to you, you're a lucky one. But it's inevitable that every resin artist is going to have a situation where they're, they did a beautiful piece and they're excited about it and they wait for it to set up and then it doesn't. In there. How about a little sprinkle sprinkle? We're Just not like, going to be able to see how clear it is if we add anything to it. Oh, that's right. I just wanted to sprinkle. I know. I love adding glitter too, but I really want to see how clear gotcha. this stuff is because it is clear cast. So, um, it says mix for two, three minutes and then pour into another one, mix for another two, three minutes. That's especially helpful if you're using large quantities of epoxy, but for something this small, it's really not necessary to me, for me personally. Um, I will never go against what is on a label for someone to follow and adhere to. Just make sure you do a good job of scraping the sides and the bottom of your mixing cup and scrape your stir stick to make sure everything is really fully incorporated. Okay, so it says do not mix for more than one gallon at a time. It's been two minutes. I know, but it says two minutes and then two minutes in another cup. So I'm going to do at least four minutes in this one cup. Um, it says tack free time. It's four to eight hours, sandable in 12 to 24 hours, and full cure takes five to seven days. Can I just say, if this is true, these times, that is amazing for any resin that's a casting resin, because it is so thin, to cure that fast. Most casting epoxies, 
take forever. That's not going to be oh, big enough. Picture. I know. I just use one of these tiny pictures. <laughs> Y'all, Total Boat sent us some of these. And we're really looking for some reason to use them. We could probably... Can you drop that other rose in here? Will it fit in here? Like hot glue it down in there? Doesn't fit. The hole's not big enough. I mean, it would without the, uh, without the stem, but the sides would show, right? I bet you. Once you took that off. Do you still have that egg? Yeah. We can put some glitter in the egg and see. Cinnamon whiskey shots. That is a great thing to put in there for sure. You guys, I'm so terrified of this not being mixed fully. I'm just going to, for just a couple seconds longer. So, I don't see any little swirls where the part A and part B haven't been uh, incorporated. If you've mixed resin before, you know those, they look kind of like fishing wire or angel hair swirls that um, you can see in your resin when it's not quite mixed fully together, but almost. Um, you can see that right now there are some bubbles in here. Definitely not as much as when I use some other brands. Granted, I don't do that much casting, as you can see from the fact that I can't math casting epoxy. You could use a baby cup to pour around the rose. I'm going to pour in in it. So you pour it at an angle, so it kind of just like a pour in Fills a beer. In. Do you wanna do you wanna do that part? Because you've done this before and you've made molds and you wanna do that part? A lot of bubbles in there. It's not as much as I've seen in other resins though, for being fair. So let's try this. What if what if we got a bigger Hey Sam? Let's try this. Let's do pour we some like in here, idea too. and then we can yeah. hit, hit it with heat, and then pour a little bit more and hit it with some heat. Okay. Do what do you think paper? about that total boat? That's enough. And you want to you want to get right here so that it just kind of pours down. If you do that, then you're going to create bubbles. That's true. Be careful when you're adding heat to. A mixture of resin that's already put together because it can set off the curing. There's a piece of glitter in there. Okay, I'm good to It isn't self-releasing bubbles. I don't see anything. I don't see anything on there about that. Um, we're just taking an extra precaution. I don't know if this will work since we don't have a pressure pot. Pressure pot. We are just setting this thing up for the best results that we know how to get. Um, that we think we know how to get. Right. This thick set will release bubbles as it cures too, but applying heat will remove the surface bubbles. It looks good. No pressure pot needed with thick set. Y'all, that is bananas. The only other two inch thick um, casting resin that we know of is Stone Coat uh, Supercast. Uh, that being said, we haven't tested it here, so I can't say how it stands up. 
I can say that there's not a lot of bubbles in here. It almost looks like just a cup of water. I mean, there's a couple, but it's going to release. So, B, do you want to pour this in here? Because, all right, if you want to direct me or you want to do it, just let me know. Just pour it at an angle. Just, yeah, just pour it really slow and at an angle. And why am I doing it slow and at an angle? So that you don't make bubbles. And then so then it fills in every little, you know, nook and cranny. Nook and it, it, it goes in, you know, it fills it by itself. You're not, if you just pour it in there and it fills up, it could, there could be some air pockets. Mm. And this kind of finds its way into all that. Okay, that's enough. I'm just crying. I'm crying to. I'm trying to shake out some air bubbles. And I bet if I just open the. Um, Babe, you're gonna break it. <laughs> you're gonna. Yeah, you're right. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do it. It's working its way in and around there. And once these little bubbles stop coming up, we'll hit it with some heat uh, as prescribed. By toll boat. I'm so excited about this. No head on that beer. All right. Do you want me to get a neck massager? Good, because I don't want it to get sticky. Sticky! I'm so impatient. The fact that these little bubbles keep coming up, I just want them to not so I can. I think we should have poured it directly inside of it. <laughs> I don't know. I think it'll be fine. The fact, okay, so last time, well, it was clear cast. It was amazing clear cast. It was the last one that we used. And it, it wasn't going to be set up for like two days. So other things that this bottle says is it could cause an allergic reaction, which any resin can. Um, different people are allergic to different things. Um, it says don't breathe it, so don't stick your face in it like I did. Wash hands thoroughly. Do not eat, drink, or smoke when using this product. Only use outdoors in a well-ventilated area or in a well-ventilated area. So that we're we're following the rules there. Um, also, don't swallow it or put it in your eyes. Okay, cool. So don't drink it. Um, there has to be an end to these rose bubbles. Bubbles are good at me just getting up in there. Yeah. That's what he said. What am I looking at? We're doing a product review and you want to throw in if that's what she said. I was reading the comments. Oh, the bubbles make a resin artist nuts. It's true, but um, I think bubbles are an important thing to talk about, particularly if we're doing a casting epoxy product review. Because that's Arguably, one of the most important things to note about a casting epoxy is the bubble situation. Not everybody. I pulled it over it. Oh my god. I didn't know it went full. The bubbles are slowing. It's kind of like when you're popping popcorn and less and less kernels are popping, so you know it's almost done. I'm not a fan of watching paint dry, but I'll sit here and pop this bubble. Just... So, uh, what was I saying? Bubbles are important to talk about. Oh, because not every artist has a pressure pot. 
It takes a compressor, and the pressure pot itself is looks like okay. a small iron lung. You know. So, um, Clara was nice enough to leave a link for Total Boat Deep Casting Epoxy right there in the live chat feed. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Um, while we're waiting on that, I'm going to show you guys uh, the reason for all the coughing in the background. It's hard to believe that something this small could create so much ruckus. We should just have named you Ruckus. That'd be a good name for you. So to seal flowers, if you guys are trying to do this at home, a great way to do it is to coat it with a UV resin and then hit it with a UV light. That should cure up within um, five minutes and then you can submerge it into the casting epoxy. It's so funny. I wouldn't mind one little bubble in the middle of it. <laughs> so glad you're trying this. I've been wanting to try casting resin. Hey, Total Boat, are you in Australia? So Total Boat, we have a lot of people um, that watch our channel from Australia and the UK and the Netherlands. And uh, they always want to know where they can get the products that we use on the channel. So do you have... Um... Yeah, how does Nick from... Uh, doesn't he use Total Boat? Nick, the, the, the turning guy, Nick with the Z. Does, uh, he does some awesome turning videos. Some, uh, he's a pretty silly guy. I'd love to get an ATD sticker on the back of this wall. You can just, I can see that one little guy just bloop and he comes back. Babysit that rose bubble. See, you're going to knock it off. Everybody's going to know. Oh. And there's that piece of glitter. Right there? You're just going to tuck it into the flower? I don't really need some tweezers. Tweezers? Yeah, I'll grab some. <coughs> Sobe, what are your thoughts on Total Boat? Give me a review thus far. I don't know. I don't... Um, I mean, we have to let it set, right? I don't... I mean, it doesn't... I can't smell. I can't really sm smell anything. It's not, there's no harsh smell. It's very thin. One of the parts, when not mixed together, has a harsh smell of ammonia. But now that they're mixed together, it's gone away. It's strange. That's true. Um, art by Esther A. said, I'd love to try Total Boat in my art experiments. I think you should. Total Boat says, unfortunately, due to hazmat shipping regulations, we are limited to the continental U.S., but we hope that changes soon and are trying to find a way to be able to ship overseas. You know, that's a problem that a lot of epoxy companies are having right now. Um, I can't, I can't, honestly, I cannot see that. I know that, can we get it? 
I guess we just need some light or something. Get that light right there. Like, I keep losing my... Okay, Cujo. You need to check it out. I think I just, I'm just pushing it. You can try it. It's just, it's just very, sorry, we're trying to get this little piece of glitter out of here. And I you can't tell where to, I think it's on top. Should have poured it down the center. Well, you wanted glitter in there anyway, so there's your glitter. No, the glitter is out. I got the piece of glitter. Oh. Uh, when you're doing this at home, don't use a torch. Yeah, sorry, I shouldn't be using that torch. So, a lot of resin companies are having issues getting their epoxy to other countries because of hazmat regulations it kind of it really sucks for international artists that want to try other kinds of um, epoxies it looks like all the, uh, the bubble stop we'll just leave this here and just keep checking on it every 10 15 minutes oh <laughs> it heard you. It heard me. Just put a cap over it. Yeah, we just we put a little, Hi, put Amy. a little lid on it, and then we'll just check back in the next thirty minutes or so. We'll see. We shall see. So those are our tests so far for the total boat product. As you saw the other day, we did this ocean that held up really nicely to the heat and everything. I, there are some dimples if we're, we're fair because we do honest reviews, but we're gonna have to revisit it because it was really cold. We had our blizzard of Dallas yeah. 2021. And um, I wanna see if it'll do the same if I do a piece without the amount of intense heat that I used on this one. I will say though, this is one of two resins that I've used that gives me this cell structure, this lacy, frothy, foamy look that I'm completely loving in my ocean pieces. So if you have the option to try Total Boat's Master, nope, Maker Poxy, give it a shot. Um, we will know tomorrow how this row is set up because. <laughs> I mean, it's tack free in four to eight hours and sandable in 12 to 24 hours, which is bananas. So by our 6 p.m. live time tomorrow, we'll be able to demold this and show you guys how it looks and give our full review on what we think about the product. Thank you, Pamela. I'm pretty proud that this is not leaking. <laughs> if we were doing a mold review, you would get 10 bananas. Um, makes me wonder how Stone Coat gets it over here. Um, I know that they do everything. B, you said. I just can't. I'm going to have to. I have to take that from you. Um, they do everything above board, so they found a way and. I'm sure they follow all their procedures, but maybe um, Total Boat can find out. Stone Coat shares everything, so I wouldn't be surprised if they shared how they got 
Arco into Australia on such a regular basis. I <laughs> got bananas. Got bananas. Sue Ashworth says, Total Boat, please work it soon. I would love to try your product. Uh, Betty, I will do the Fantasy Peacock for tomorrow. You know how on our website we have all those complete kits? Yeah. Well, before we started doing classes, we had four, three or four kits, the Peacock. Yeah, Ocean. And a primary color, primary, maybe. Yeah. And something else. Well, there's no correlating video to it, so they're asking that we do a video on oh, what's in that box. So, Clara left all the links for you guys to get some Total Boat if you're in the States. I don't have a code for you. They didn't offer me code to forward. If they do, though, I will let you guys know and leave it down in the description box below this video. Uh, please check us out on all of these places. Um, the new challenge is out for ATDs for people if you like to do challenges and want to something new and challenge yourself. How did the coasters come out with the Drew Leaf? Can you shine that light? It's just going to blow it up. Um, that was multicolored. I did it with just this powder. Where am I? Which looks awesome. And then I did it with just gold because I didn't think it would work at all, but it did work a bit. It just looks a little bit more flat. And that's just because of the paint. Um, they turned out really nice. And most of the colorant came out of the molds. I'm just going to take some tape and peel out the little bits that are still left in here. And actually, my next venture is going to be doing a chameleon and dropping these suckers on there because that will show all the colors in different angles is my theory, but I'm going to test that live with you guys. Are you going to do the challenge? I just might do the challenge. You're gonna have a crack at that one. Sweet. Um, so you guys, thanks you guys for coming in and seeing what we're up to today. We I cannot do what we do without you. And thank you to Total Vote for sending us this awesome product to review. We'll do our full um, full length feature review tomorrow when we can see um, how bubbleless this piece is. I know a lot of people are interested in casting flowers. Who isn't? And um, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't. Give us all of your thumbs or they're up or down. I don't care. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And always know that we love to do the tests. So you don't have to. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. What do you guys think about that one? It's amazing! We do the test. We love to do the test. Because we know you guys don't like to. No. That's what they said. That's what they said. <laughs> Alright, you guys have an awesome Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks for joining us. You guys are awesome. Bye. I said bye. Yes, baby. I just want to watch. Here we go. I know.